Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, welcome you all back and uh, yes. So, just share my screen again. Right, so we were on the Asma and Afal of the ayat that we uh, just saw. So, Kuffaran is again an ism. Anfus, Nafsun, Anfusun. And uh, Amr, the plural of Amr is Umur. Salah is uh, the plural of Salah is Salawat. So, these are the ism and the verbs. If we take the trilateral verbs, we have Hasada. Yahsudu, then we have Safaha, Yasfahu, Isfah, Safih, Masfuh, Safhun. Then we have Basir, so Basur, Basura, Yabsuru, On Karuma, Yakrumu, Basura, Yabsuru, Ubsur, Basir, Mabsur, and Basarun. Then the weak words we have Afa, Yafu, Ufu, Afin, Mafun, and Afuun. So Afu is to forgive. Allahumma Afuun to hibul Afu wa Afuani. So Afa is the root word on the part of Daa Yadru Afa Yafu. So practice that Ain properly because that Ain sometimes is, is uh, with the Sukun gets difficult. So uh, Yafu and Afu and Fafu. So just practice this Ain properly, inshallah. Then Hamza Taya Ata Yati. And we had Hatta, that's why it became Yati Ya. And because of this yaktiya, it, it becomes Allah with a poor. Yaktiya wahu. Okay. It was just yakti, then it would have been yakti Allah. It would be with a normal this, right? So ata yakti iti, atin maktiyun, and ita ityan. Okay. And I said ata is the fourth form of that. What the is double verb on the pattern of masa, what the yavaddu, what the Wadda, Maudud, and Mawadda. Mawadda is wishing or, or loving. And on the same, this we have Radda on the pattern of Dhanna. So, Radda, Yaruddu, Rudda, Raddun, Mardudun, and Radda. To turn back. Rad karna ko chis ko rad kar dena. <clears throat> Tabayana has Bayana, Bayan, and on the pattern of Tafa'ala, Tabayana. Or Tadarrasa, we have also already seen. On the pattern of tadarrasa. And this is mazid fi. Tabayyana is the past tense. That noon again is not mazid fi. Uh, so it is not the mudare uh, madzum. This is past tense. This is mabi. Tabayyana. Tabayyana ya tabayyanu. Tabayyana mutabayyanun. Mutabayyanun and tabayyunun. To become clear. Right? Kaddama is on the pattern of allama kaddama. Yuqaddimu qaddim. Muqaddimun. Muqaddamun and taqdimun. Right? <clears throat> and the choppers are Hatta Yaktiya. Okay. Choppers and hammers. So choppers was Lam, Lamma, Fal, and Wal. And here we have In, Man, and Ma as a conditional sentence. So we have Ma Tad. Ma tukaddimuna became tukaddimu because of this ma conditional sentence. And in the second condition, the answer of the condition is tajiduhu. So if you tukaddimu, then tajiduhu. Right? So this is again conditional sentence and it has a double chopper. Okay? Ma tukaddimu, whatever you send forward, then pusikum min khairin, tajiduhu. So if you send, then you will find. If you don't send, you will not find. Okay? The root word of tajidu. Vajada yajidu, vajada he found. Alam yajidka yatim and faawa. Did we not find you yatim? And we gave you protection. Vajada he found. Yajidu, right? Vajada is the root word of this. And yajidu, tajidu, uh, ta, sorry, ta, tajiduna has become tajidu because of the conditional sentence. The noon has been dropped. Okay, so it's a weak verb. Let's say that vav is not seen here. Right? Vajada yaidu. On the same pattern, wa'ada yaidu, wajada yajidu. Okay. So this noon has been dropped because of the condition. What is the condition? 
vama tukaddimu and whatever you send so if you send then you will get this is double chopper so to this ma is affecting two things two verbs in the mudare okay so name of the action of tabayyana is name of action right of tabayyana is tabayyana tabayyun tabayyana and mutabayyinun we just saw this active participle of tabayyana tabayyun name of action means verbal noun sorry verbal noun tabayyun tabayyana is the past tense tabayyunun is the name of action verbal noun right isme fa'il active participle of wadda is maududun mawadda wadun baddun so some try try this one isme fa'il active participle of wadda si si wadun 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 that's right wadun right so that is the active participle fa'ilun on the pattern of fa'ilun but this is a double that's why wadun so here we have wadun becoming wadun okay <clears throat> singular of umur this is very simple amr amrun right not amir not amir not amrun so so how confusing it can become and if you are not pronouncing things right you could make a mistake right so this is what we have to learn from this so amr umur is simple but amir amir if you are just uh, not uh, reading properly then you can make a lot of mistakes so alhamdulillah that was the quran part inshallah we'll uh, switch over to the uh, the grammar part for today and we'll take the questions inshallah in the end so bismillah alhamdulillah was salatu was salam ala rasulillah rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli bismillah arrahman arrahim so this is the grammar part uh, page 16 and pointer number c so since it was uh, it was shared by kazi sahab this question is uh, you have to ask yourself whether you have gone through it if you have gone through it and then it becomes easy for you to understand in the class so what we are going to do basically is kana and its sister what we have seen before is uh, kanna and its sisters today we are going to see kana kana means he did asbaha and amsa right and we'll see how it affects us so we have already done in the previous lesson inna anna ka anna and lakinna inna is indeed anna is indeed that ka anna is like that lakinna is but so allahu ghafurun <coughs> becomes is a sentence allahu ghafurun allah is forgiving right if with the inna it becomes allah inna allah ghafurun so the, the this is called <coughs> ism of inna and this is a or khabar of inna so khabar of inna is in pesh halate rafa not nasab right kitna paisa lagega inna inna wa so we call this innal baita kabir aur niru bhi de rahe hain kaam chalu kara di to mute your mic who is okay right so inna makes the uh noun have a fatha so inna innal baita kabirun then we have inna anna also anna means that annal baita kabirun ka annal baita as if al baita kabirun as if the house is big right lakinnal baita kabirun but the house is big but what is it doing the baitu kabirun it become baita kabirun innal baita kabirun indeed the house is big annal baita kabirun indeed that the house is big ka annal baita kabirun as if the house is big lakinnal baita kabirun but the house is big right so these are the uh, inna and the sisters of inna and how the change happens to the noun how the noun comes in nasab state Let's see. Today we are going to see Kana and its sisters, Asbaha and Amsa. So the effect of all of them is going to be the same. So, <clears throat> Ism Allahu Ghafurun is a, is the Ism and Khabar. Both are in Rafa, state of Rafa. 
when kana comes kana allahu is allah or was allah with since it is allah that's why we say is ghafuran so this is khabar of kana so when it is khabar of kana it will get fatha so when inna was there it was inna allaha ghafurun but we have kana allahu ghafuran kana allahu ghafuran so allah here is ism of kan because it is a subject and this is khabar of kana that is ghafuran it is giving the khabar that what is allah allah is ghafur okay so this is ism of kana and khabar of kan for the tpi we have seen that rafa we are indicating by the thumb up and nasab by thumb on the side okay so allahu ghafurun kana allahu ghafuran it could be like that so kana allahu ghafuran on allahu ghafuran so now when you doing the ppi we are doing it for the uh, nahu and not for the kana right so kana is like this kana kana kanu that all is all already you know now now we are doing nahu so kana allahu ghafuran allahu ghafuran kana allahu ghafuran so kana allahu ghafuran rahima كان الله غفور الرحيم. so this will help you if when you are memorizing sometimes you are not sure whether it's Allahu Allah. so when you know that the, the rules of the grammar you will not make a mistake, right? so كان الله Allah is غفور الرحيم. both are in nasab. غفور الرحيم. we take more example. هود نبي. هود نبي. when كان comes كان هودن نبيا كان هودن نبيا هودن نبيا but when كان comes كان هودن نبيا نبيا okay so with إن it was إن هودن نبيا but when there is كان كان هودن نبيا this is the difference so if you write it couple of times this difference will become clear زيدن صغير زيدن صغير كان زيدن صغير Kana Zaidun Sagiran. So these are the changes of Nahu that are happening, and we have to note it and uh, sort of memorize these changes so that we remember these changes. So after Kana, what is happening? Zaidun is remaining Zaidun, but Sagirun is becoming Sagi Ron because of Kana. So Zaidun is Ism of Kana, and Sagiran is Khabar of Kana. So Khabar will be in the Nasab state. In the fatha state, for kana and for inna, the noun of inna will be in the nasab state. Okay. Rafa. Saadun kabirun. And when we add kana, what will become kana saadun kabirun? This run, this two fathas are because of kana. And the same thing will follow for the other two words that we saw is asbaha, asbaha. We'll also have the same changes. We'll see that as we go ahead, inshallah. So wakan Allahu ghafura rahima. What is the translation of wakan Allahu ghafura rahima? What is and kana is Allahu Allah is ghafura rahim. Allah is and Allah is. Offered for giving and most merciful. So B is the right answer. Okay. See the right state. Select the right statement. So we have to see what is the right statement. Inna converts the state of the first noun to rafa state. Is it right or wrong? No, it is wrong. It gives rise to a nasab state. Kana changes the state of the second noun to the nasab state. Kana. Changes the state of the second noun that is the khabar to the nasab state. This is right. Inna converts the state of the first noun to jar. No, that is wrong. Kana changes the state of the first noun to nasab. No, that is wrong. So B is the right answer. Okay. That is the only learning in the grammar for today. This, if you learn this question, then you have achieved the grammar session of today. Right? Kana changes the state of the second noun to nasab state. This is the only learning for today. 
right add kana to hudun nabiyun so what was this, the learning kana makes the second noun nasab so second noun is nabiyun and that will become nabiyan so kana hudun nabiyan that right that is the answer so that is a no need to see the others also so alhamdulillah we will take some more examples <clears throat> we saw al muslimu sadiqun the muslim is truthful when we add kana sadiqun will become sadiqan kana al muslimu sadiqan what i will do is i will say the first statement and you all add kana and then repeat it so that you all can read also okay so uh, you all can unmute your mics and say the answer with kana al mu'minu salihun kana al mu'minu salihun mashallah al munafiqu fasiqun kana al munafiqu fasiqan mashallah right so this is the only learning for today just one concept of grammar if you inshallah know that then you have achieved the thing for today right so we already know that with feminine muslim becomes muslimah with a ta so al muslimatu sadiqatun now when kana is used for feminine it will be kanat kana becomes kanat for feminine and when al is it will become kanatil kanatil muslimatu sadiqah sadiqatun sadiqatan you can say sadiqatan because we have to uh now we can say sadi <laughs> just for our reference and knowing that we have to add fatha we say at sadi ka tan unni okay so now again i will say these two sentences and then you say the answer of that with kanat al mu'minatu salihatun kanatil mu'minatu salihatan 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 tan 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 just keep uh, that tan in mind right المنافقه فاسقه كانت كانت المنافقه فاسقه ما شاء الله ما شاء الله right so this last change is the thing the second noun will get the fatha right so this what we are doing is nahu so every class is important and every class whatever point we are learning is important it is just one point that we are learning in one class so nahu will become easy we are not taking too many things together so that you don't get confused so if you just remember this one thing that kana and its sisters any of those words come then the first noun will have a dhamma and the second noun will have a fatha now whether it is with al without al masculine feminine all that doesn't matter okay right so now we see it with the plurals al muslimu plural is al muslimuna in the rafa state and in the nasab state al muslima in the uh, singular form and the plural will be musli mina mm. right so this is what you do remember musli muna is the plural of muslimu and musli mina is the plural of muslima with a fatha okay so whenever you have to add nasab state then it will be musli mina okay so note that the plural of musli man and musli min both is musli mina so when you have a jar state musli min plural will be musli mina and when you have a fatha state musli man the plural is muslim mina otherwise in the rafa state it is muslimu and muslim muna okay now we are uh, learning why there is a change of muslim muna and muslim mina we had already learned that the plural we have to add waw noon and ya noon but now we are differentiating on why and when what is you this is the second learning point for today's grammar first was that after kana the second verb will be in nasab state and now what we are learning is the this we have also learned last time that the uh, nasab state and the genitive state or the jarri state is musli mina both are same right but in the uh, singular form it will be musli man and musli min but in the plural it will be musli mina for both so let's take some examples uh, i will say the first one and then you can add kana and then uh, say the answer al muslimuna sadiquna kan al muslimuna sadiqin right so let's remember this difference muslimuna is with waw noon and uh, sadiqin is in the nasab state okay sadiqin now we you know why the sadiqin is coming and why her muslimuna is coming okay because this muslimuna is in rafa state 
and this is in nasab state nasab state okay just just remember this not very confusing but just remember this 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 point so just two learnings for today the waw noon is with rafa and ya noon is with nasab and jar both okay so after kana the first will be in rafa state muslimuna and the second will be in the nasab state sadiqina al mu'minuna salihuna kana al mu'minuna salihina mashallah right then we'll go to al munafiquna fasiquna kana al munafiquna fasiquna mashallah right so just write this couple of times and inshallah it will uh, you uh, it will fit in your minds uh, for life so just two things that you have learned in the grammar if you if you get these two things you have achieved the uh, lesson for today inshallah if you write it it will get reinforced so add kana to al muslimu sadiqun so what is the what do we have to do al muslimu will remain same and sadiqun will become sadi Can. So we search where that is. This is C, right? So C is the answer. We don't need to look at others because if we look at others, we find confusing. So if we if we know the answer, we look for the answer, right? Now add kana to al munafi kuna fasi kuna. So first will be kuna and second will be kina. So we'll search for that, right? So kana is there. Right. So munafi kuna fasi kina. Right. So that is the C answer. Right. This answer is also C. Right now we have to add kana to al mu'minatu salihatun. This is feminine, so we will have salihatan. Right, so we have two options for salihatan. Kana til mu'minatu salihatun. Right, so this is the right answer. B is the right answer here. So C is not the right answer. B is the right answer. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Now, as we saw, kana. This asbaha and amsa also has. Similar meanings. Kana means tha, and asbaha means ho gaya. When it happens in the morning, it is asbaha is used, and the same thing happens in evening, amsa is used. But both have a sense of has become, right? So woke up in the morning with something, it will be asbaha, and something happened in the evening, it will be amsa. Okay. So the effect of both these verbs are same like kana. So asbaha and amsa, but amsa indicates sham ko hua and asbaha indicates morning me hua, right? So kanal bay tu kabiran was or is the house big? Asbahal bay tu kabiran, the house became big or the house in the morning was big. Amsal bay tu kabiran, so in the evening the house became big. so something that is happening in the evening we'll use amsa and something that is happening in the morning we'll use asbaha or we just use it became asbaha became right but amsa specifically is for evening and asbaha is for morning so some words behave like kana and they are called as sisters of kana okay they are not brothers sons and daughters they are called sisters in arabic also they are called ikhwatu kana and uh, inna and ikhwatu inna If you if you are learning the Arabic grammar, they are called ikhwatu. So because they are words, that's why it's sisters, right? So now the sisters of Kana are what all? You have to select more than one. We have seen those two examples. A and B. A and B, right? So Lakinna was the sister of Anna, and La Alla is sister of nobody. <laughs> okay, right. Add Amsa to Al Muminatu Salihatun. Right, so the same thing follows. Al Muminatu will remain the same. Sawli Hatun will become Sawli Hatun. So we'll what we'll see is where is the combination of the Rafa state with the Nasab state. That is C. Okay. So Am Satil Muminatu Sawli Hatun, and this Am Sat has become Am Sati because of Al. Okay. Because of this Al, if Al was not there, it will it will be Am Sa. If it was not feminine, okay. Translate for us, bah tum bi nimati hi ikhwana for then us bah tum you all became 
binyamatihi by his favor ikhwana brothers fa asbahtum and you became right asbahtum is the past tense so not become became right so the answer will be c and you became by his favors because this is past tense verb it is not fas bahu become right it is fas bahtum fa asbahtum not fas bahtum sorry fa asbahtum right so uh, this small difference also makes a difference it is asbah yusbihu and fa is following it so fa asbahtum it is not fas like we had today fas fahu that was the hamzatul wasl this is proper hamza asbah right so now we will see the sentences all together we saw the jumlatul ismiya the noun allahu ghafurun both in the uh, rafa state fi'liya is khalaqallahu al-arda right so the second noun here is in the nasab state arda because that is a object allah is a subject inna makes the things other way around so inna allaha ghafurun the first noun will be fatha the second noun will be uh, khabar will be in rafa state and kana has the effect on the second noun kana allahu ghafura okay so these are the four classes or the four grammar sessions that we have done till now ismiya fi'liya inna and kana okay and we also learned that muslimun is musli muna and muslimin and musliman is muslimina muslimin yeah right so that is the grammar for today now we can take any questions that are there for the session or the grammar session or any comments no comments so basically the learning for today in short would be that in today's scenario how we apply these ayat and in that whatever is happening is going to happen it is with the qadr of allah and we know that inna allaha ala kulli shay'in qadir right so we have to trust allah in that and we have to fa'fu wasfahu and aqimu salata wa atu zakata and remember the fact that wa ma tuqaddimu li anfusikum min khairin tajiduhu inda allah tajiduhu you will find it with allah inna allaha ala kulli shay'in qadir okay so this inna allaha ala kulli shay'in qadir has come two times in this page first time when he allah taala wants uh, to say that he can change the sharia according to what he wants right yeah so kal sahab aap kuch bolne wale the aur maine shayad start kiya to apna unmute kiya tha so you can uh, uh, say what you wanted to say i this first of all this ayat is very relevant yes all 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 ayat are relevant all at least at this particular is uh, every message is to be absolutely read. absolutely yeah. <laughs> yeah you go ahead go ahead you're saying something and i cut you yes, yes. such uh, messages should be polarized it is, it is just it is just that people open, we don't open our eyes muslim and non muslim absolutely absolutely and uh, that's why i shared the other ayat also universal absolutely it is universal Message. so even even in our own uh, community if you are finding differences if you are finding that somebody is doing something wrong yes tell him but yeah. then forgive him and make dua for him i was just listening to somebody our community is more reactive and uh, yes or yes, yes. or reactive yes. absolutely i uh, see we the whole problem is that we wasfahu don't and wafu fafu and wasfahu is applies to us first actually so i'll just give you one example on uh, one of the sahabis came to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, he said that this particular man is doing hajj on me and he is saying oh, no he is doing my ghibat right so ghibat is such a big sin okay now this sahabi is going to the prophet and telling that uh, this particular other sahabi is doing my ghibat so what should the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say right so ghibat we know that it is as good as eating your dead brother's meat okay so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is telling him that if you if whatever he is saying is the truth then you change yourself right and if whatever he is saying is not truth which means that it is buhtan then make dua for him right what we will do we will start cursing we will start cursing that person ye mere bare mein aisa bol raha hai aisa bol raha hai ye wo you know so we have to take the examples from what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught us and he taught the sahabis so if somebody is 
today also telling something bad about us or something like that we make dua for that person that allah taala change his mind allah taala do good to him right we we on the contrary what happens we start cursing and we'll start giving lana and we'll start uh, you know giving all the bad uh, having all the ba- bad thoughts so we change all that we have to change all that to good we have to change all that to dua give get the power of dua that is what is required for for the thing so we have unfortunately not not learning from the life of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we don't read the seerah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we don't read the situations that he was in and the and the suggestions that he gave according to each situation see if we start applying the the laws to everything things become different but we have to see how the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam took those things and how he applied those laws uh, in his in his life and that will be a very good learning for us for for our hereafter also and of course for our dunya which is the first step to the hereafter so as i was saying that all all the ayat of the quran are ayat and it is only we who who sometimes are very uh, narrow minded in in the uh, in the translations and we say okay this is a translation and we finish we don't see that why allah taala is given this ayat to us and if we i, I trust me that if you open your eyes and start reading each ayat you will find that there is a message in me, for me in this ayat right only thing is sometimes we take you oh, this is the story of uh, musa alaihi salam or isa alaihi salam or whatever or this is to, uh, being spoken to the jews but what do we have for it and in fact if you see these sessions that we are going through every lesson has a lesson uh, every every lesson has a has a teaching for us right so the same way allah taala is saying that we have given you so many ayat so every ayat has some lessons for us whether we are able to take it or no is our weakness or strength so may allah taala make the understanding of these ayat easy for us may allah taala taala make it it a noor for us uh, uh, we are able to to at least grasp something and take benefit out of it because when allah taala is calling it noor there is light in it and that light is going to guide us uh, uh, guide us towards the right right path inshallah so but we have to open our eyes to it we have to try and and uh, get the knowledge out of it and of course noor is something that just spreads it doesn't stay within light is something that just just spreads all over so our noor has to get so much that we are able to spread this noor to everybody else inshallah the last ayat of this surah mul qul araitum in asbaha ma'ukum ghawlan famayatikum bima'in ba'in yeah i'm going to say that asbaha and amsa need not be so morning and evening no it just says uh, only to it has become it has become it has become so इन असबहा अगर हम कर दें पानी को गौरन अगर हम सुखा दें उस पानी को अगर वो पानी हो जाए सूखा हुआ तो द सेम मीनिंग असबहा कम्स देयर बट डज इट नॉट मैटर मीन सुबह को ही हो गया या शाम को हां नहीं 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 हां जरूरी नहीं है वो बट ज्यादातर वो उस तरह से होता है कि वो सुबह उसने उसके साथ की एक्सक्लूसिव मीनिंग होता है मतलब असबहा मीन सुबह ही हां मगर उसका मीनिंग बिकम भी है अमसा भी है और अमसा का भी सेम सेंस में आता है सेम है या शाम को भी होता है एक अलग सेंस में हाँ एंड टू बिकम भी होता है एक अलग टू बिकम हाँ टू बिकम एक इंडिपेंडेंट मीनिंग भी है दैट्स व्हाट यू वांट टू से यस यू आर राइट इट इज एन इंडिपेंडेंट मीनिंग टू बिकम हो जाना कर देना अगर हो जाए पानी सूखा तो क्या करोगे कोई और कोई नहीं कर सकता करेक्ट काना इन्ना उसका एक्चुअली इम्फेसाइज होता है मीनिंग काना के लगाने से तो खास मतलब बदलता नहीं है हाँ नहीं इनमें से भी मतलब बदलता नहीं है बट जैसे कान है कान का मतलब जैसे की अगर हाँ। काना तो मतलब ये कान अल्लाह गफूरा और अल्लाह गफूर नहीं मतलब... मीनिंग में चेंज नहीं होता है और उसमें इनफैक्ट काना जब अल्लाह के साथ आता है वो प्रेजेंट टेंस का मीनिंग लेते हैं कि अल्लाह तला गफूर रहीम है वी नो दैट वाई लर्निंग काना इज अ पास टेंस वर्ब But when it is coming with Allah, it is it is like Allah is Gafuru Rahim. We will not say Allah was Gafuru Rahim. Who said this? And the al hal, it shows the hal, halat. Correct condition. Kana at Kana. Then now. Kaifa. If you are asked the question Kaifa, it gives the meaning in hmm. that month. Nakira. Correct. Correct. <coughs> Yes, sir. In broken plural, we have learned as bahal by to jadidan. Hmm. 
यहाँ पे असभा का मतलब मॉर्निंग नहीं होता है हाँ नहीं नहीं हो जाना नहीं वही बता रहे थे ना कि असभा का मीनिंग है कि हो जाना या हो गया ठीक है तो सुबह हो सुबह में हुआ जरूरी नहीं है बट हो हो जाना उसका मीनिंग है बट असभा उसने सुबह की किसके साथ की जो भी चीज काम जो भी काम किया उसके साथ सुबह की उसने मीन स्टार्ट द मॉर्निंग विथ डूइंग समथिंग वेन वी यूज दैट हो गया ऑल्सो इज अस इंडिपेंडेंट मीनिंग ऑफ इट बिकम अमसा ऑल्सो इज द सेम सेम वे This we are learning Inna and Kana on the is Mundi. Now this, Haan, they may yeah. have come sometimes uh, before Mudaira or Mazi. Yes, that's right. That's right. We are going uh, step by step. No, बहुत सारी चीजें एक साथ लेंगे तो सब ये नहीं होगा. मतलब the grasping will get difficult. वो तभी लग लगेगा कि आ गया है और बाद में पूरा confusion हो जाता है. Correct. Correct. तो एक 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 सी इफ यू इफ यू सी दिस द वे इट इज डिजाइन एक एक चीज ही इंट्रोड्यूस होती है एक एक चीज इंट्रोड्यूस होती है तो वो एक हफ्ते में आप एक चीज हजम कर लें इनशाला तो फिर वो बाकी रहेगी नहीं तो टू मेनी थिंग्स टूगेदर विल मेक अ लॉट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन करेक्ट एनी अदर क्वेश्चन कमेंट्स राइट So if there are no questions, comments, inshallah, we can conclude for today. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah wa bihamdika, Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.